what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love hey, you give boss. Thank you for coming back to my channel I know that it's been mighty mighty long time But I promise I'm here to stay Um, I might have said that before But this time I am more determined than ever i am more motivated than ever and i believe in myself more this time around than previous times um i love my nails get into it that's my chair have to get another one of those get into it get into it get into it this time we're really just going through everything that i've ever wanted to record um more than makeup see fragrance bath by the work shelf um, I'm a mama. I'm back staying at home. So if y'all follow me six, seven years ago, you know that I was stay at home mother. And that is the reason that I fell in love with makeup. I know it's like a big story, but we're getting to the meat and grit and grind <laughs> to the video shortly. But, um, that's another thing, um, that I'm currently doing that I wasn't doing at first. Staying at home, I hate it. Got into the working field. Yeah, I know that everything that's going on right now, um, a lot of jobs are virtual or, you know, if you're dealing with it, thumbs up the video and let me take some of the stress off of you and let's enjoy the video of today, okay? Okay? All right. So, I want to encourage us to get into those Bath and Body Work collections. I know that they always bring out new stuff um every season this is their job but it's some things that we already have this meals delectable delicious and yummy 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 and i just want to have a series where i go through some of them um this time i'm going to try to stick with the ones that's available like right now able to purchase or that i think a lot of people have and because of springtime i want to get into those more um florally sweetie like, I should do a day and a night one because it's two of them that's like day to night. And yeah, I'm gonna do today's gonna be the daytime, real floral, everything. All right, so I'm just gonna do four. Four should be enough for right now because I have a lot. Um, these are the first four that I know are not limited edition, but they are they probably are limited to seasonal, but they're not limited to like once in a lifetime they're not coming back out this is the one that i thought sold the most when i worked at bath and body works i did thumbs up this video if you want to know my bath and body works store i gotta give you this here um but it's a thousand wishes and a thousand wishes is pink prosecco sparkling uh quince crystals peony gilded amber and i'm already cream mm. so <sighs> So I just had made a post the other day about this scent. Okay, I'm gonna talk about it. Uh, I sent this similar to this in my opinion. And this is more, very much more mature. So this won't be the one if you don't like the real heavy flowery, flowery cell, smell. So this is a heavy floral. So if you don't like heavy florals, you will not like Thousand Wishes. Normally people that don't like heavy florals, they like more masculine snails, but this is the heavy floral. And it's one of my top favorites from Bath and Body Works. So if I had to repurchase this, I will purchase it again. The next one is another heavy, rosy, sweet. This is a, this is sweet to me because of the strawberry nectar. But, but this is, here's the one. And it's white birch, velvet rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. I don't show this one enough love. I um actually fell in love with this when it first came out because I got it as a gift in the meetings for my birthday one. Um, and it came out in 2020. Or was that 2019? Either 2020 or 2019. Mm, it's so good. It is so good. Again, this is heavy on the, the, mm, the strawberry roll. So this does have elements of strawberry. So it does have that sweet fruity kind of um dry down mm, i really love this I, have, I play games with this i play with this this is so good so this is very much let me see what kind of outfit would i put with this 
It's like a brunch. I would give that one a brunch. This is soft. Uh, Thousand Wishes is soft daytime. And I feel like you can get away with this at night. But this is soft enough for like a brunch vibe. And these are one to two of my fragrances from Bath and Body Works that have been known to last after I wash my clothes too. Just, just to let you know. Heavy hitters, okay? So the next two are part of the spring collection. So yes, right now they are available. They won't be available in the packaging that I have because I've been collecting for a while now, but I'm pretty sure the scent is probably dead on, spot on the same. So the next is Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. And the fragrance note is Passion Fruit, Pineapple Leaves, and Banana Flowers. I have several versions of this. Um, I really like this. I've used up all my body wash. I think all my body wash to this is gone. Mm, this smells like such a snack. Like, for those days that you're not doing anything or you're just running errands, this is something very light, airy, and pretty to put on. It is floral. But you do have it like sweet banana smell to it too. I will spray but yeah, Mark Jacobs dot online mixed with snowflakes and cashmere. So uh -uh. but yes this is so sweet and so decadent and it, it projects very good. It has long great longevity and it projects. Let me know if y'all want a layering combo video of how to layer um, your fragrances, especially Bath and Body Works, to make them have the same longevity as designer scents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is like a clean spring morning with a hint of that banana. And if you don't like bananas, you will not like this because it is heavy on the banana scent, but so pretty for daytime. So pretty for running errands or just like a day in the office. I don't think you would fit anyone with this scent because it's just that calm and so good and so sweet. Last but the not the least is the Fiji Sun Shine Guava Tini. This is one of the older packaging. Told y'all I've been had these for a while now. But the scent notes are Sun Kiss Guava. Fresh orange and seaside jasmine. For this one, it's not so much floral as it is like fresh, the seaside. And this is like more of mm, clean. But it smells so good. It's the orange. It's more fruity. So it's probably the only one that's not as florally as the other one. But it's balanced because um, banana passion fruit isn't as floral. Like it's like I always say, so if you're not too heavy on the floral, you would really enjoy um, banana, Bahama, and the Fiji one. These are available right now. But this is another one. Real clean, real everyday. It's very much airy, very... Um, I love this one so much that I do have a miniature one for the summertime. I only use this in the summertime. I, I took it out my purse. But yes, I have this one for the summertime because I love the way that it smells. I, I love this one. Like, it is one of my top spring scents. Mmm. It's just something about the orange. I like orangey, peachy, sweetie. You know, I am florally because it's one that I have. That I love to death, and that might be my honorable mention. So this is my honorable mention. It is rose, and this is florally. It's the airy rose water, jasmine petals, and creamy musk. I know I said I don't like musky scents, but this is a different kind of musk right here. Like I like saddle woods and stuff mixed with the right vanilla, with the right patchouli, with the right. It just has to be right with the right. I don't really care for amber. But if amber is mixed well 
with the sandalwood and the jasmine. Baby, sign me up for it. Mm, this is so good. Uh, yes. Uh, I have, um, this is my second most purchase of oh, rose, rose, however you want to say it. It's my second most purchased, um, fragrance from Bath and Body Works. Number one, of course, is Champagne Toast. She needs her own video. <laughs> but, um, this is the second most. Oh my goodness, you just smell so sweet and innocent. I want to say when you're transitioning between, like, that... 17, 18, 19, like, um, we want to start smelling more mature, more feminine, like, masking your feminine energy. I think this is one of the top tops to, um, help you decide that. I know this, this a lot, this, this heavy, but I really feel like if you want to explore the florals, this one is it. I don't know why this is not a top seller. Oh my God, it gives you that <clears throat> clean, fresh, soft, goddessy, like, I'm becoming type. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I really, really love this. Why don't I have this on right now? Because I know that I'm going to wear it out. Wear it out. I will wear this out. I promise. I will wear it out. So, thank you guys for stopping and watching my top five. Um, what I will wear transitioning from the vanillas to more of the floral summery scents. I would do one for nighttime. Too. Thank you, beautiful soul, very much for stopping back on my channel, coming to chit chat me with my fragrance talk. Um. Uh, Y'all yeah, let me know what I need to put right here. I feel like I feel like we need something right here. I, I feel like something needs to be here. Because I love this little place where I'm not in front of the vanity. You know, I am just like personable. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, thank you, beautifuls, for stopping by, chilling with me. Until next time. Bye. I know what you do to me Between me and you I feel a chemistry I won't let no one Come and take your place Cause the love you give